Let's build an AI agent using the new Grok 4 model. Most people think that building out an AI agent is really complex, but it's really not. Let's build one really quick. First thing we need to do is give our AI agent a brain. So go ahead and select the chat model. Scroll down here to XAI. You just need to create your credentials. Let me show you how to do that with XAI so that we can use the new Grok 4. So click into this field, create new credential, and all you need is an API key. So head to the XAI API, and we're gonna sign into our account. You need to credit your account. It's really easy. You can throw in like five bucks and then go over to API keys. And this is where we're going to to create our first API key. Go ahead, click API keys, give it a quick name, hit save, and we're good. And this is your API key right here. You're gonna want to copy this, and don't worry, I'm gonna delete this before I even post the video. Head back to N8N, paste in your API key, hit save, and then you're good to go. Now we can select our model down here, Grok4, which is the latest and greatest AI model out there, and our AI agent now has a brain. So if we open up the chat trigger node and say, tell me a joke, the AI agent used Grok4 as its brain to tell us a joke. And then from here, we need to give our AI agent some memory. So just click in memory, and we can add this really simple memory really quick. I like to change this number to 10 for most use cases, and now it can remember the past 10 conversations. So if we restart and say, my name is Mason, hit enter, it'll kick off, do its thing. I can go back in the same chat and ask, what's my name? And because of this guy right here, it remembers my previous conversations. So it gets back to me saying, based on what you told me earlier, your name is Mason. Sweet, last one, we can start adding tools. So if we want to send emails, we can search for the Gmail tool, make your connection to Gmail, of course. And then the cool thing with N8N, I can let the AI model decide all of these fields right here. So over here, you see this little sparkly icon, the stars, you can just toggle this on. And this lets Grok4 decide what to put into those fields. Now, if I send this message, send an email to John asking if he's good to reschedule our meeting tomorrow for next Monday, same time. Grok4 will determine the plan of action, decide which tools to use, draft up the email, send the email, and then get back to me with what it accomplished. And as you can see, the email is in my inbox. Or if I want the agent to be able to schedule calls, then I just look up my Google Calendar tool, add that right here. And again, I love N8N because I can just let Grok4 decide what to put into all of these fields right here. I can also connect to Airtable if I want to, or even Slack to send messages or even fetch messages. Slack is a fun one because that way, let's say I skipped a day or two of work. I can just hit up my AI assistant and say, hey, catch me up on yesterday's events or catch me up in Slack. I was gone for two days. The AI agent or Grok4 can take that, determine the plan of action, get all of those messages and come up with a really nice condensed summary and then spend it back out on the other end, which is really easy for me to read, only taking me a few minutes or less. So that's how you can create an AI agent with the new Grok4 model inside of N8N. It's pretty straightforward. If you guys like to learn more of this stuff, AI agents, no code automation, AI, anything of that sort, then just go ahead and give me a follow because I post content like this all day long. Or if you want even more content and free resources, then hop over into the free community, hit up classroom, and I've got tons of content there for you guys. You can find the free community over in my link.